Welcome back to Rolling Stonks. My name is CJ and this is my 2004 Monaco Monarch Motorhome. This thing is super sweet. I bought this to tour with my band and it's done a great job. This thing is a solid RV. Let me show you around. The entire exterior skin of this bus is all aluminum, which means you don't have to worry about DLAM or anything like that. The seals are very good, so there are no leaks, even though this is from 2004 and almost a 20-year-old coach. The engine in front is a Ford V10 Triton, and it is plenty powerful enough to pull this and also extremely reliable. This thing has been back and forth across California from Southern California to Northern California and Northern California to Southern California multiple times, and it has never left me stranded once. One of the coolest things about this bus is this. This is a very big living room slide, and when this comes out, it makes the RV feel very open inside. Let's go inside and I'll show you guys what it's like in there. When you open the door, the steps come out, and you go inside and you have a nice, spacious living area in here. Very cool. This place is very livable. When this slide is out, this all feels very open. It feels very spacious in here. In the kitchen, we have a nice three burner range, a dual sink with a drinking water filter and a convection oven microwave. Got a nice big freezer with ice maker and nice big refrigerator. Over here, we have our dining area, which folds into a bed and our couch, which also folds into a bed. There's also some storage underneath this couch that I like to keep my instruments under, very handy. We have lots of storage up here and here. And back here, we have a nice bedroom. The bedroom has individual lights for each person, a very comfortable queen bed, and a nice vanity area, which actually opens into a window behind there. Again, lots of storage. You have places to hang your clothes. Places to put your bags. Got some circuit breakers up in here. And overall for a 32 foot RV, this thing is very spacious. Up here we have the cockpit, which of course has my bass drum because I'm moving a drum set and this didn't fit under the bed with the rest of the drums. But this is a very nice place to be. We have a nice Sony head unit with Bluetooth in it so I can run my audio throughout the house. It's got a backup camera. Also very handy are these here. These are leveling jacks so that you can level the RV when you're sleeping. Here on the dash, we have our generator start button, which we got a micro light generator by Onan that works very well. Let's go ahead and give it a start. There it goes. Up here, we've got an ancient TV that we will probably be swapping out for a flat screen. That's a DVD player and a VCR and some storage up here. Without this curtain, People would be able to see through this big panoramic window here and you would have very little privacy. However, with the curtains closed, nobody can see in and you can actually seal off all the windows and have complete privacy in this RV. Yes, that one has a shutter and that closes too. This RV does have AC and it does work and it does blow very cold. This is by far one of my favorite features of this RV. Watch this living room when I bring in the slide. And just like that, we are in bus mode. The rear bedroom also comes in. And now the back's in bus mode. Now the cool thing is you can still use the bed and the living room when you're not able to put the slides out. Down here, you can see the jacks are down to level out the RV because I was sleeping here last night. And let's check out all these compartments. In here, we have propane and some storage and this thing holds a lot of propane in here we've got some massive storage bins i can literally fit in here <laughs> that's how big these storage bins are here we got some more storage and also our nice golf cart batteries that provide plenty of power to the rv and there are water compartments so you can refresh them if they're low on water Back here, we got lots more storage. And on this side, of course, we've even got more storage. We've got an inverter there and our power plug there so you can run to shore power. 
Here, we've got all of our wastewater drains and all of this has been replaced and fixed and this all works great. Under here, we've got our nice Onan MicroQuiet 4000 generator. And also I believe this thing here is the hydraulic system for the jacks. Everything here works great. Under here, we got some more storage. I've got our barbecue in here. And under here, is even more storage and a fuse box back there as well. Well, there are some fighter jets up there doing some skirmish practice. I'm sure you can hear it, but we'll go ahead and do a cold start up and you guys will get to hear what she sounds like. This engine has been sitting all night, so this is a true cold startup. But I tell you what, it starts up every time. No problem. Check it out. This bus only has 47,000 miles on it. So the engine and the mechanics of it are in solid working condition. The jack system also works great. Just turn it on. Right now they're down. I'm going to retract all jacks. Woo! And you feel the RV come down. And you can kind of feel when the jacks are up. You go ahead and let go. We'll turn it off and then on. And the jacks down light is no longer on, which means the jacks are up. The AC and heater also works very well and blows very cold. We'll go ahead and turn it on. Ah. Now we can get away from that desert heat. This unit does have both a heater and an air conditioner built in, which is very cool. Both of them work and the thermostat works. We've also got our control panel and testers and tank levels here. You can test the tanks like that and you can turn on the water pump like that. We have a heater that runs on gas and 12 volt, which works great. And we have a heater that runs on 120 volt when the RV is plugged into shore power. Both water heaters work great. I actually turn them both on when I want to take a hot shower and I have very hot water. You can test the batteries here. And these are the slide controls. One highly underrated thing in RVs are the bathrooms. This one has a full size shower and everything here works. And we've got a very nice portable toilet and this thing actually works great too. And that's it. That's a quick tour of my 2004 Monaco Monarch Motorhome. If you guys are thinking about getting an RV like this, it can be a little scary at first, but I assure you, once you have one, you will definitely enjoy it. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like content like this, I guess, on cars like this or sports cars, which is what I normally do, then please subscribe to my channel. Peace out and rock on.